one most of the time won't win the ball. So I go up to press here, he'll probably pass it off somewhere else. But it's what number two player does and what number three player does and what number four player does. And I would expect by the time you get to number three or number four player that you've won the ball back. And I think the reason for sending uh, like one player in first is to say, the first player who goes, it's probably a bit of a thankless task. You, you may not win the ball, there's a good chance you don't get it. But the rewards for it is if we're winning the ball back much quicker up the pitch, it's giving you much more chances of scoring goals. So I certainly believe that most centre forwards would rather play that way than maybe wait till they get the ball at different moments. But I think more importantly, it's a, it's a team session and it's to make sure that the team are pressing together, not just the forward players, the midfield players behind it. Then it, it incorporates the defenders as well. And to go into deeper depth than it would actually be talking about, you know, how far in should the defenders go? When should they go? Uh, should they follow people all the way in? So I think depending on on the group of players you've got and the age group of players you've got, you can decide what amount of detail they need to be given. Just there. Ah, that's it. Now that's the distance you should be away from them.